Have you ever wondered how a single man could conquer the known world in just a decade? Picture this, a young boy born in the heartland of Macedonia, a land of warriors and philosophers. This boy was none other than Alexander the Great, born to King Philip II and Queen Olympias in the year 356 before the Common Era. Blessed with a thirst for knowledge and a fierce spirit, Alexander spent his formative years under the tutelage of Aristotle at one of the greatest minds of the ancient world. It was this unique blend of philosophy and warfare that would shape Alexander into a leader unlike any other. His life took a drastic turn when he was just 20 years old. Following the shocking assassination of his father, King Philip II, Alexander found himself thrust onto the throne. But he was not alone. He inherited more than just a crown. He took control of a powerful military force, a well-oiled machine primed for conquest. Thus, a young, ambitious king ascended the throne, armed with a powerful army, a mind tutored by Aristotle himself. For more intriguing tales and insights from history, tune into Cryptic Mystic Vault. Inheriting a formidable military was one thing, but Alexander's true genius lay in how he enhanced it. From Macedonia, he took command of a battle-hardened force, a legacy of his father, King Philip VI. But Alexander didn't just take the reins, he amplified the strengths of his army, bringing strategic innovations and demonstrating exceptional leadership qualities that made his troops virtually unstoppable. His first major test came against the Persian Empire, a formidable adversary with vast resources. But Alexander was not deterred. The Battle of Granicus was a pivotal moment where he showcased his tactical acumen, outsmarting the Persian forces with a mixture of daring maneuvers and disciplined formations. His victory set the stage for a series of triumphs that would echo throughout history. Next came the Siege of Tyre, a challenge that would have stumped many, but not Alexander. He turned an impregnable city into a sitting duck demonstrating his ability to think outside the box. It was a testament to his relentless drive, his ingenuity, and his unwavering belief in the capabilities of his army. With each victory, Alexander's reputation grew, and so did his ambition. His unstoppable army marched on, leaving a trail of conquests in their wake, and shaping the course of history forever. Alexander's thirst for conquest took him to Egypt, and then eastward. In Egypt, he founded Alexandria, a city that would become one of the most significant cultural and intellectual centers of the ancient world. Here, the Oracle of Siwa declared him a god, further bolstering his divine status among his followers. But Alexander was not one to rest on his laurels. His eyes turned eastward towards Central Asia and India. He led his army across harsh terrains, facing formidable foes, yet his strategic brilliance and his troops' unwavering loyalty saw him through. The Battle of Gaugamela and his push into Central Asia showcased his tactical genius as he employed innovative strategies to overcome his enemies. His journey to India was marked by the challenging Battle of Hydaspes, where he faced the mighty King Porus and his war elephants. Yet despite these challenges, Alexander's empire continued to grow. His ability to integrate local cultures and his policy of employing local officials helped him maintain control over his vast territories. His campaigns not only expanded his empire, but also spread Hellenistic culture, influencing societies for centuries to come. From Egypt to India, Alexander's dominion stretched across continents, a testament to his unmatched military genius. Conquering lands was one thing, ruling them was another. Alexander's empire stretched across three continents, a feat achieved through his innovative strategies of control and his ability to integrate diverse cultures. He did not simply impose Greek ways on the conquered. Instead, he embraced local customs, marrying Persian women, and adopting their attire. This integration led to the spread of Hellenistic culture, a blend of Greek and Eastern influences that left a lasting impact on the regions he conquered. Alexander's leadership was a force to be reckoned with, his charisma was legendary, and he inspired unwavering loyalty in his troops. But his rule was not without its dark side. Critics argue that his ambition often bordered on recklessness, and his alleged arrogance and tyrannical tendencies marred his image. Alexander's untimely death at the age of 32 sent shockwaves through his empire. Without a chosen successor, his vast territories were left in disarray. 
His generals, known as the Diadochi, scrambled to seize power, leading to a series of wars that ultimately fragmented the empire. Alexander's death left a power vacuum that his generals scrambled to fill, marking the beginning of the end for his vast empire. Alexander the Great's conquests changed the world, but at what cost? His legacy is a complex tapestry, woven with threads of military genius, cultural integration, and a thirst for power that reshaped the world. His strategic innovations and leadership qualities led him to conquer vast territories from Greece to Egypt and as far as India. His empire was a melting pot of diverse cultures, symbolizing his belief in unity and tolerance. Yet, his relentless pursuit of glory was not without its costs. The battles waged, the lives lost, and the cultures disrupted paint a sobering picture of the human toll of his conquests. His death at the tender age of 32 left a power vacuum, leading to the division of his empire among his generals and the eventual decline of his hard-won dominion. Modern perspectives on Alexander continue to inspire debate. Was he a visionary leader who dared to dream big and achieve the impossible? Or was he a ruthless conqueror whose ambitions led to widespread destruction and suffering? Perhaps he was a bit of both. His story serves as a stark reminder of the duality of power, its potential to create and its capacity to destroy. His life and his legacy raise compelling questions about leadership, ambition, and the price of glory. What can we learn from his story? Perhaps it is that ambition, while a powerful motivator, should be tempered with wisdom and empathy. That power, in the wrong hands, can lead to destruction, but when guided by vision and understanding, can unite and inspire. Alexander the Great's life serves as a powerful reminder of the potential of human ambition and the impermanence of power and glory.